Good afternoon, Clayton Stuffelbeam here. It is April 27th. Uh, we received 2.7 inches of rain on Saturday. Uh, nice soaking rain, nothing too hard. But today we're tying up loose ends that uh, we created last week in the office. So we're doing some paperwork today. One of those bits of paperwork I'm working on is our plan for the FFA plot here in El Paso. Since moving the PFR farm in El Paso, we have planted the FFA plot for them. And it's been nothing special. We just plant the field and they take it from there. This year I wanted to do something a little bit different in hopes that maybe we had time to do something different versus in 2019 when we didn't have the spare time. So I thought, well, let's, uh, let's make a prescription here utilizing farm server and then we might change our rates, our, pop our corn population, and maybe even our nitrogen rates based off the prescription we're gonna make today in farm server. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, from the home page, top left, I'm going to go ahead and hit fields, and I'm going to add a field. I'm going to find said field on the map. This is right there, and I'm going to draw my boundary. I'm going to click, choose a crop type, and I'm going to plant corn this year. This is El Paso FFA. and then add area. I'm gonna zoom in here just a touch. I'm going to start to draw that boundary. When I click, get to where I'm satisfied with the boundary, I double click, and that will create my boundary for, for me, and it comes up to be 12.2 acres. And then I will click, quick click, Drawing complete and then save. And from there, I want to create my zones for this field. So click on zones. At the bottom left, I will, I will click create zones. And then hit add on the FFA field. Continue. We have multiple options here for the zones you want to utilize. So crop health imagery, imported files, yield, custom zones, multi-layer, drone data, soil test, elevation, and soil type. I'm going to use a custom zone. and I'm going to base my information off of the organic matter map that our smart firmers created last year with our 2020. The yellow area has an organic matter percentage of 3.5 to 4%. And then the green area has OM at 4.5 to 5%. So I will click Custom Zones. And then I'm going to change my name here and 2020 Planting Prescription. The first thing I will do once I get into the, into the field here, I'm going to change my opacity so I can see what I'm working with. And then I'll hit split a zone. And then that, that basically opens up the tool to where you can start drawing a line, very similar to how you made your boundary. I'm just going to draw this in here real quick. One thing I've learned, when you bring your lines together at the finishing point, the starting point, you've got to be pretty right on top of your starting point and then double click. Once you get to that field, the first thing I'm going to do is change the opacity so I can actually see where I'm at inside this field. And then I'm going to go ahead and let me back up a, a section here. Um, back to where it was, we're gonna split a zone. To change that opacity, I'm going to start drawing my zone in here. So once you hit split a zone, it'll open up a tool so you can start drawing a line. And I'm just going to kind of draw a line here and, and divide this field into two sections. The lower organic matter portion and the higher organic matter portion. One thing I've learned by doing this is when you connect your lines, you got to be pretty close to each other right at the starting and fi finishing point. And once you get there, double click. 
From there, I want to change my zone labels. So I have two mediums here, and that's really not what I'm looking for. So I will hit Edit Zone Label, and then we're going to click on the zones to change those labels. And I'm going to change this one to Medium High, and we're going to leave that one at Medium. And hit Continue, and then Save New Zones. So right there, we've made the zone. So now we are going to assign rates here at the top of the screen. Hit assign rates, check mark your field, and then the blue box on the right, hit assign rates. Both of my zones show up here. Select your crop type. We're going to, do, going to choose planting for operation, and then seeds per acre. So for this particular field, we're going to do two hybrids, split planter. Hybrid 1 being 5484SX, and then hybrid 2 being 5513AMXT. And all you do there to add your hybrids to split planter is you add line. And then for the nitrogen portion, you add another line, and then you put your rate in here, and you call it nitrogen or pop-up or starter, whatever you need to, and that attribute will come back into your export and then into your monitor, and you can select it for your nitrogen rate that you're going to apply in the field come to the portion where I'm going to add the test blocks into this field. We always want to make sure what the changes we make in a given field or in a given year where we've made big equipment changes is to test ourselves and make sure we've made the right decisions. So I'm going to choose the quad style test blocks. Each block has a size of 0.25 acres and I'm going to go ahead and place that in the medium high ground right in the middle. So my block one is up here in the upper left. I'm going to choose that to be my 30,000 population. Since we're already planting 33,000 in the medium high zone. And then I'm going to leave that rate at the 10 gallon per acre nitrogen rate. Block two right here. I'm going to change to 34,000, so I'm going to increase the population. And leave the nitrogen rate the same. Block number three in the lower left. Population, I'm going to actually leave at 33,000 where I planted in this block normally. But I'm going to change our nitrogen rate to eight gallon per acre. And then quadrant four, I'm going to increase up to 12 gallon per acre for nitrogen. And then I will hit save test block. So I have a, a quad, quad block here in the medium high zone. I will make one just like that in the medium zone. So we've got all the test blocks placed. We have two quad blocks in the medium high zone and then the medium zone with both hybrids 5513AMXT and 5484SX at three populations and three different nitrogen rates in the test blocks. So it should be an exciting trial for the FFA students this season. A monitor, I've got my monitor turned on and the USB drive inserted. From there, I'm going to go to Setup, Data, Import, Prescription and Boundary. One prescription was successfully imported. From there, I'm going to go Home, Setup, Fields. I'm going to go to Farm, Add a New Farm. Caps Lock, FF, FFA, add a new field. There we go. The boundary file is here, FFA, that's my prescription, seating, FFA, Section one, doesn't matter what you choose. So one of the hybrids and then nitrogen. I'm going to um, hit nitrogen. So my nitrogen prescription should work as well as the seeding prescription. From there, I'll make it active. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose my hybrids here. So we had 5484SX, it's right there. Enable, and I'll do that on the left. And then we had the other one is 5513 
LT. And I'm just going to put in 5513 AMXT here. And we're going to hit enable and choose the right for that. And then we are set up and we are ready to go. So with that, it wasn't too hard for us to uh, export that out of the computer, make a prescription and get it into our 2020 monitor. I look forward to uh, bringing the FFA students out this season, scouting the field and then keeping track of it throughout the season. I do look forward to adding yield data to this as another layer of accuracy when we go to make a prescription again for the 2021 planting season. Thanks for joining us today. Hope this helps if you're planning on making a planting prescription for 2020. Thank you.